Okay, I'd like to talk about headlight wiring um, because it's something that seems to come up all too often, um, even on television, that uh, cars that have supposedly been restored have still got their headlights wired wrong. The original wiring uh, can still be used. In fact, the connector is exactly the same. It's just now the other way up and with the pins in a different order. This is when switching from the original seal beams to a modern H4 based headlight like this which we have to do in the UK because we need our um, beam pattern for, uh, correct for our annual test. So anyway, this is the original wiring where the plug comes out like this with the uh, middle pin on the bottom uh, and you'll be turning this over and you'll be reordering the pins. Now it's very easy to take the pins out. I shall just do this on one of them. Take a very thin screwdriver, go in on the gap around the pin there and give it a very gentle lever this one's actually split and it pops straight out and all you need to do to get it back in again is to bend that tab back up again and you do that there you go like that and you do that on all three and then you put them in in this order switching to the other headlight now which I've already done and this is, a, this is a car that's been in the UK for about five years and has never had its headlights rewired and that is not an uncommon story. So that, I've already redone this one. Um, don't ask me about the paint on these wires. But uh, So now going the other way up, obviously it just turns over, we have black on the left, you have blue and red on the top middle and you have blue and white on the right. I'm saying left and right in the car's perspective. So black on the left, blue and white on the right, blue and red on the top. And blue and red is dip beam, blue and white is high beam. So, no excuses from now on. <laughs>